Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how we can configure and customize the countdown which indicates the time remaining until the end of an auction. Now before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Ok guys, normally when we create an auction type product, this is the result that we get. And if we notice, right here we can find a section with a countdown that indicates the customer the time remaining until the end of an auction. Additionally, below the countdown we can find here the end date of the auction. For example, in this case it would be on January 29th. Now, these two options, the countdown and the end date, can be hidden. And additionally, for the countdown, we can further customize the style and the colors. To show you, let's go now over to our plugin. Here we are inside our Yeath Auctions for WooCommerce, and from here we need to go over to our Customization tab to find, right over here, our countdown section. And from here we need to scroll a little bit down so we can find this option, Show Countdown, which in this case we want to disable. Now we're going to save the options so we can go back to our page. Let's now refresh so we can see the difference. And as you can see, now the countdown has disappeared and only the end date is showing. However, if you want to, we can also hide this information. For that, let's go back to our plugin. Again, we are inside our customization tab and right here, the first option that we have in the countdown section is the one to show the end date of auctions on product page. In this case, we also want to disable this and we're going to save the options to go back. Now let's see. Again, we can refresh the page. And now, as you can see, the end date has also disappeared. So using the options available inside the customization tab, we can easily hide the countdown and the end date. Now let's continue and see the options to customize the style and the colors of the countdown. For that, one more time, let's go back to our plugin. Here we're going to continue inside our same countdown section and of course, to show you the settings available, we need to enable back our two options. Perfect. Now let's see. Over here we will be able to decide on the time and date formats from these options that we find available here. However, if no option is selected, the plugin will show the default date and time format from WordPress. In this case, we can leave the two options that are selected and let's continue with this other field that we find here, time zone. From here, as an additional option, we can enter the time zone that will be displayed besides our end date. In this case, we can enter EST for Eastern Standard Time. And now let's have a look at our page, but first let's go ahead and save. There we go, now we can go back to our front end. And as you can see, our time zone label will appear over here on the right side of our end date. Now, continuing with the options available to customize our countdown, we can find this option, the countdown style. And as you can see, our plugin offers four different styles for you to select from. So far, we have seen this option, the default one, but let's try a different example. In this case, we can select a more compact design like this one, or maybe let's try this one for a more graphic design since it has these big blocks. So we select it and below we will find the options to customize the countdown colors for the text, for the section background and for the blocks background. In this case, let's go ahead and for the text, we can select a color white. Then for the section background, let's go with a gray color and for the blocks, I'm going to select black. There we go. Now, to see the result, let's go ahead and save. And now, back to our page, let's go ahead and refresh. And immediately, we can see the difference with this new countdown style. In this case, it is definitely more graphic and it draws the attention to the time remaining for this auction. Now, before we finish, there is also one more option that I want to show you. So, let's go back one more time to our plugin. And this is the last option that I wanted to show you. Countdown color for auctions that are ending soon. In this case, we will be able to configure an automatic rule so that when there is a specific amount of time left for an auction, then the color of the text changes. For example, as we have here, 
when there is less than 24 hours before the auction ends, then change the text color to, and of course, in this case, what we want to do is select a color that will get the attention of the customer. So for example, let's try with a color red. So we enter this one, perfect. And now to show you the result, we will need to go ahead and edit our auction product so we can change the end date. But before we do that, let's go ahead and save our options here. Perfect. And now let's go to our product. From here, we can go directly to edit product. And here we need to go over to our auction settings so we can find our field for the auction dates. And what we're going to do is change the end date from January 30th to January 26th. Perfect. Now all that we need to do is update our product. There we go. And now let's go ahead and click here so we can see our product with the final result. Perfect, guys. This is exactly the result that we were looking for. Since we changed the end of our auction to be within the next 24 hours, our rule to change the color of the text from white to red has functioned perfectly. In this case, this color will definitely get the attention of the customers and they will be more inclined to place a bid before the time ends. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!